Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. Now let us start by installing the free version of Microsoft SQL Server. So just go to your browser and search for SQL Server Download and the very first link which you get is SQL Server Downloads and once you click here you will get this link and as I am staying in India that is the reason I am getting en-in in the link. If you are staying in US you will get en-us and suppose if you are staying in any other country let's say Great Britain then you have en-gb so you can click on any of these links so let's say I am into this link that is en-in and you get two types that is developer edition and express edition now both these editions are free editions and you can use it freely so for this particular course I will be using this developer edition so I'll just click on download now and you see that I have already clicked here and I got this file downloaded so what I'll do is I'll just copy this file here that is in G drive softwares and MS SQL server so you can create your own folder and keep your downloadable file there now double click on this particular exe file now you get three installation type that is basic, custom and download media. I'm not going to talk about download media and most of the time you can either give basic or custom. Now I want to install the basic default configuration. That is the reason I'll just check basic. If you want more control on the download process, you can choose this custom. So at this moment, I'll click on this basic, right? Just read this agreement and just click on accept. If you want, you can change this install location. I'll just keep it as it is. Click on install and it will take some time. So just go and grab a cup of coffee because it is going to take some time to download all the packages. Now here, you see that the first one is instance name and the instance name is a unique connection string of your instance of the SQL server and you need an instance to connect to your database. The next one we have is log. So this log folder is the place where it will create the log files for all the operations which you will perform. And this is the installation media folder and this is the resources folder. So what I'll do is I'll just click on connect now just to test whether the connection is getting successful or not. And if you see this particular message, that is Microsoft SQL Server 2019. So you see that if you get this message, that means connection is successful. So at this moment, I'll just close this and I'll just click on this install SSMS. So this SSMS represents SQL Server Management Studio and you have to install this so just click on this and let me just open with Google Chrome itself. Click on OK. You can open with any other browser as well. And here if you just come down, you see that you have this option that is download SSMS. Just click on this link and you see that this particular download process is started. Right. So just wait for some time. So you see that this exe file is downloaded in my PC. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this and I'll just keep in this particular location. So I have kept this exe file here and just double click on this. And if you want, you can change this particular location, but I don't want to change it. So I'll just click on install. And you see that Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio is getting installed. So please hold for some time until this installation is completed. So you see that the setup is completed and you can also close this as well. That is SQL Server Developer Edition. Yes. And just go to a search 
in your computer and just search for SQL Server and you see that you get this particular link that is Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18. So you just have to click here that is click on this. So you see here you get this connect to server screen and here you have the server name and in my case the server name is desktop hyphen d5 aj viu and in case if you don't find any server name you can just click here and you can just browse for more and go to database engine and here you will find all the server names in my case i have only one server name that is the reason it is showing this particular server name so here just click on this connect button and in case if you want to confirm your server name what you can do is you can just go to files just go to new and then query with current connection you can just give select and then you can just give at the rate symbols two times and then server name and just click on this execute button or you can just press f5 in your keyboard so here you see that this is the server name in the output and if you just want to know the sql server version then you can simply code a sql query for example you can just give select at the rate at the rate version right press f5 in your keyboard and you see that this is the particular version right that is microsoft sql server 2019 so we have successfully installed the microsoft sql server 2019 along with microsoft sql server management studio in the next video lesson we will download and import a sample database which is adventureworks sample database on top of this microsoft sql server 2019